Okay, everybody, I'm going to move this over just a little bit so you don't see that thing. <laughs> hello, hello. Hope you guys have had a great week. Well, let's see. We'll leave it there for now. Hope you guys have had a great week. Once again, flies by. You know, when I was working, the days always seemed so long. But when I'm working at home doing something I love, everything goes by so fast. Isn't that funny? I guess that's how you know you're doing what you should be doing, right? When you, when the days go by fast because you're having so much fun. All right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you guys. All right. Hello. Nancy already shared. Thank you, Nancy. Hi, Karen. Good to see all of you. All right, so this week we are doing um, three projects with this stamp set, Encircled in Warmth. Um, you may not have known what the stamp set was. I actually had a couple of people say, what, who, where? It's called Encircled in Warmth. It's in the holiday catalog. I'm gonna show you when I turn the cameras down. It actually coordinates with this bundle, which is from the annual catalog. So I love the scripty fonts. And so I have come up with some fun pink projects today using this stamp set and the really beautiful coordinating guys. Hey, Terry. Um, let's see, I'm gonna run through a couple of things before I turn the camera down. Um, paper pumpkin. How many of you got paper pumpkin this month? It's way cute. And I was not expecting to love this one as much as I do. Um, I actually didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it, to be honest. And I haven't finished. I haven't put the embellishments on. But look, hello, it's gingham. Of course I'm going to love it. So cute. So it's 10 cards, right? One, two, three, four, five. You know, I actually got an extra card in my kit. Isn't that weird? I've never gotten an extra before. I had an extra. I had six of this other one. Um, and I was like, wait a minute. But, or did I get shorted? No, it was five and five, right? Anyways, let me count on here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, five. You know, that that's one of those, glass, is the glass half empty or half full? I got an extra. I got an extra. Um, anyhow, the whole point of this that I'm telling you is that it's super cute. Look at the envelopes, Terry, I thought of you. Terry makes fancy envelopes, and these are super fancy. I actually... I want to pull them apart and and use this <laughs> as paper, but then I wouldn't have the cute envelopes to send the cards in. I don't know. Anyway, if you need a paper pumpkin, I have a bunch of them. Um, I don't know how many I have. I have. A, I ordered a lot this month. Um, so if you would like a paper pumpkin kit this month, they are twenty five dollars. Email me, please. Email me, um, and I will send you an invoice that includes the shipping from me to you. And um, it coordinates with products from the annual, from the holiday catalog. I can't remember what it's called. It's the black, the gray and white paper in the cabin. Um, it's really cute. So if you would like a paper pumpkin kit, let me know. I um, have extras. All right. I actually, okay, so here's the story. Yesterday, I was on a Zoom call for all together about four hours with the amazing guy who switched my blog over to WordPress this week. It's a lot of work. Uh, you know, he knew, obviously he knew how to do it real fast, moves everything over. But there's all this little stuff, these little connections, this code here, this code there, that doesn't work, this, uh, and it was, so anyway, while, while I was on the Zoom with him, I was putting this together. It obviously didn't take me four hours, but. <laughs> It took me literally like maybe 15 minutes. It's a fast one. Um, this, the spot that's in here is shaded spruce in case you were wondering. Okay, so if you want one of those, email me, message me. I have I have a lot, all right? Um, speaking of my blog, if you haven't checked it out, it is still the same address, pinkbuckaroo.com. That is actually my domain that I've purchased from a domain provider. And it was attached to my blog, which was through Blogger. If, any of it, if this makes sense to you, which I started literally like 12, 13 years ago, way back when blogs were kind of new, we didn't really know what we were doing. And over the years, my business has evolved, but my blog has kind of stayed, you know, kind of old and kind of like there were broken links. There were things I didn't know how to fix. There were just, it was dated. 
So I finally sucked it up and said, Erica, <laughs> hire somebody to, to make this current. And so that's what I did. Um, and he, you know, when you're talking to somebody who knows technology, there's a lot of words that you don't understand. <laughs> and I feel like I'm pretty technology savvy, but obviously not enough to, to be able to do what he did. So he transferred it over. It's beautiful. It's clean. I wanted it really clean. I wanted you to be able to open it and be able to see little like almost thumbnails of the recent posts so you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll. We're still tweaking some things. There's going to be a drop down menu on the side that has, um, um, what do we call them? They're not tags. Um, almost, um, like, like the table of contents, you know, like subjects like Christmas and birthday and videos. So that's coming. Okay. Um, we're still tweaking some things. So be patient. Um, it's going to take me a while to get it perfect, but for right now, and I, my first blog post is this Facebook Friday post. Has anybody checked to see if it's up? Fingers crossed. I mean, it was a whole thing yesterday, me having to learn a whole new system. Um, which it was it wasn't too different but there were some things i didn't know how to like highlighting the the host code i like to highlight that in yellow so you can find it well i couldn't figure out how to highlight in yellow so still working on some things um if you guys will check it let me know here's the thing if you click on that link if you have a bookmark um that was the old blogspot address uh pink buckaroo designs dot blogspot dot com that was like older probably three, four, five years ago. If your bookmark is that, which is what my bookmark on my computer was, it will give you this page that says, um, this page has moved. Do you want to move with it? Or do you want to go to go to that page? If you get that, just click yes and go. Um, then update your bookmark, okay? So that you don't have to do that every time. A few of you have reported to me that you're getting like a, a thing that says, it's gone. There's nothing you can do. The, certif the certificate is, is expired or somebody even, somebody's even said, um, pink buckaroo has canceled the request or something. Um, oh, Susan, the, the PDF today is asking for Google access. Okay. That's my fault. I will fix the PDF. Thank you. That's, I know exactly what I did there. Um, but if you're getting a weird, like it's not even giving you that option to, to move over it's a browser, an outdated browser issue. Um, he and I talked this morning and the encrypted stuff within the um, WordPress system or whatever um, is only, only functioning with current browsers. So if you have like an older device that doesn't update, like let's say you have an older iPhone or iPad that won't update to the current iOS, then it's not gonna let you. It's just not gonna let you. So you have to either update your browser or try on a different device. Um, the certificate, everything is secure. There shouldn't be any more of that security warning, any of that, it's good. I paid good money to make sure that all of that is secure and it's good. So hopefully we'll get those kinks worked out. The PDF is my fault. When you upload something to Google Documents, if you don't grab the right link, then it tells you that. And that was me, because last night a hundred things were going on here at the house while I was trying to do that. But I will fix that as soon as we're done, okay? All right, so pinkbuggeroo.com. It should be exactly the same. Should it? Um, you should be able to type it in. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it worked for me on several devices. So anyway, okay, moving on um, real quickly. Um, this PDF will be up. In fact, I'll fix it in just a minute, okay? <laughs> um, let's see, a few things I want to tell you. All-Star Tutorial Bundle, um, October is um, Blackberry Beauty. Um, I haven't mailed them, emailed them out this week. I will do that as soon as Facebook Live is over. And um, yeah, Corrine, um, you guys, the PDF link, that's my fault. That That's not your browser. If you can see my my blog, you're good. That's, you're good. The PDF is just a, I, I pasted the wrong link. That's all that is. I'll fix it. Um, Blackbird Beauty, you get this for free if you spend $50 with me before the end of the month. Um, 12 tutorials, 12 different designers. You guys know I tell you all the time. It's really good. It's really good. And I have, if you ordered this week for the stamp sale, I haven't sent them out yet, but I will. Okay. <laughs> Terry, where are your earrings? You know what? 
my ears are bothering me. I wore earrings. We went to see the Lion King two nights ago and I wore earrings that night and now my ears hurt. So I thought I'd give them a little break. I don't know what that's about. This is my tutorial project this month. It's really cute. Features all the beautiful Blackberry stuff. If you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to put it in order with me, um, that's also available in my PDF store. Also available in my PDF store right now is uh, November Club Create. I still have subscriptions closed. Um, I might open it for a couple of days at the end, maybe the first week of November. Um, this month we're doing Whimsical Trees. We're just full right now. Um, but if you want... Um, if you want to get the PDF and the video, that's available for $15 in my PDF store, okay? And I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for Club Create for December. I keep going back and forth. So Club Create members, give me some suggestions because Club Create December won't come to you before Christmas. It'll probably come to you after Christmas, so it can't be Christmas. I was thinking the penguin is real, really cute and non-Christmassy. But that punch has been unorderable for a while. And I don't know if it's part of that, you know, mess out sitting in the ocean waiting to be delivered. I don't know if it's out there and it's like not going to get here till like summer. I don't know. So I'm kind of like, yeah, with the, with the penguin, even though I could do some really cute stuff, non-Christmas stuff with that. My other thought was the In Symmetry Suite, or is that what it's called? Sweet Symmetry Suite from the annual catalog. That's really fun. So Club Create members. Give me some suggestions. What do you want to do for December? Let me know. I may take them. I may not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I forgot to pull. Um, you can actually see, look, I've already started working. This is what I do for my classes. I start early, um, kind of estimating how many people I think I'm going to have. Um, I already know I'm going to have to cut a few more. Um, this class right here, today is the last day to sign up for the what, what do we call it fine this is the last time i have to say this word sweet cloche class i laugh every time i say it so if you want in on this class today is the very very last day you can register so email me message me um or um yeah email or message me I'll, I'll put the link here when we're done it's also at the bottom of today's post I'm, I'm distracted by you symmetry penguins symmetry penguins now you're gonna make it really hard for me to decide um and anyway today the last day okay don't forget now i'm gonna give you a little sneak peek you know i'm gonna turn the camera around um i'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of next the classes that are coming next week um you might have actually already seen them yeah, Chris, something not on back order from the annual catalog. Fingers crossed. What we who knows what that is, right? <laughs> who knows what's gonna go on back order? That's the scary part. We don't know because of the crazy shipping situations that we are experiencing all over the place. Um next week. So next week I'm gonna list the two add-on classes that I had for um my retreat in the box, which is sold out which PDF, by the way, is going to be up, ready for sale, probably by the end of today, if you were waiting on that PDF. But the two add-on classes for that was a stamp -a stack featuring the Be Jolly. So I'm going to list this as a standalone class if you want to do a card class um, in November with that. And then the other class, and, and don't email me this weekend about these because they're not listed yet. I'm not ready to ha open registration up, but it's coming next week. The other one is Christmas Treats using the little, um, you know, the pillow box die and the Holly Jolly Wishes. Okay, so those are coming next week. It's it's full Christmas, wall-to-wall -wall Christmas. We have, we have reached the time when it is time to focus on Christmas. Okay, it got here fast, it felt like this year. I, f I still feel like it's kind of like summer, I guess, because it's been so warm and I don't know. Talking about um, <laughs> going to the lake this weekend. I mean, that's how warm it is. Crazy. Okay, so let's do some prizes and then we will start stamping. Um, last week, I had um, these two stamp sets and I picked two people this time from YouTube. I always forget to go over to YouTube. So this time I picked two winners from YouTube, Dolores Heminger and Debbie. Debbie, I'm, I'm going to mess that up. Ho Ho Hoxerst. Debbie, I know I have your mailing address. Dolores, I don't think I have yours. But if you'll message me or email me and I'll get these out to you. Thank you for sharing the video. 
I appreciate it. Um, that all, that's all you have to do to enter to win um, is share the video either on Facebook or over on YouTube and comment that you um, shared. Judy, I know a class with a gingerbread and peppermint. That's what I did for my retreat. I know it's just... There's just not enough hours in the day. I need to hire. I need to hire a staff. I could do that if I could hire about five people to come work full time for me. <laughs> Maybe I could do it then. This week I've got three of the stitched greenery dies. This is the big, you know, the big die that puts in the stitched leaves. So I've got three of these to give away. So if you would like to be entered to win, just share the video and let me know that you shared it in the comments. All right, so this week we are, welcome to Facebook Friday if you've never joined us before. The PDF isn't um, up, but you know what? Let me just do that really quickly. I can do it while we talk. Um, maybe, I don't know if I can talk and do the same. Do, see, I already can't talk at the same time. Okay, hold please while I fix the PDF. I should be able to upload the PDF straight to my blog and not have to do it in Google Documents. But I, that is one thing I couldn't figure out how to do last night. So out of need to just get it done, I just did it the old fashioned way. And let's see if I can do it quickly. It's still so strange when I open this blog and it looks different, so different. All right, so let's change. That, maybe, oh, maybe not. Well, now it's telling me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try it. That, nope, that didn't do it. All right, hold on, hold on. See, this is when I need you here, Denise. You should be my, Denise is my, my, pretty much my virtual assistant. She doesn't really, she's not usually here with me, but well, guys, okay. I said I could fix it and now it's telling me that I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm, now I did something weird. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to wait. I'll fix the PDF when we're done. I thought I could do it while I talked, but I can't. Not that good. <laughs> Okay, anyways, welcome to Facebook Friday. It's usually not this crazy. Well, maybe it is this crazy all the time. Um, you can, when I'm done today, go to pinkbuckaroo.com and you'll find this PDF. It has all the measurements and the products um, listed that I'm gonna use. It also has the links for the three things that I just talked to you about. Um, the Sweet Cloche class, the uh, Club Create, and the Blackberry Beauty. Remember, those other two classes are sneak peeks. They're not open for registration yet. The host code is up here as well. If you like today's project, you can put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, and I will send you the make and takes. They look like this. I do almost everything for you. I don't do any stamping. Um, and this week, you're gonna need these dies. These are the Encircled in Beauty dies. Um, they coordinate with the Encircled in Warmth stamp set. I'm going to show you where they are in the annual catalog, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut these out for you. Um, you're going to need to have them. They are really intricate and um, it would take me a really long time to cut as many as I need to do correctly. You know, um, they're delicate and it would just take a really long time. So you're going to need these dies and this stamp set. All the other things, the hearts, um, the snowflakes, the circles, I will have those cut for you. So you'll need stamps, these dies, and ink. Ink and adhesive. I don't do any pre-stamped images. What you see are thank you tags, okay? So Monday at midnight is your deadline if you want those Facebook Live make and takes for free. Okay, so let me show you what we're doing today. Encircled in Warmth is on page 23 of the holiday catalog. It's a, just a sentiment stamp set. And if you'll see this right here, it says coordinates with encircled in beauty dies. Um, so it's showing that it's just that one, but I'm using them with all of them. They, they, you know, they all coordinate really well. Um, so then that says, uh, coordinates with encircled in beauty dies, annual catalog page 159. So that's this right here. 
Um, and some of you already have this. I know some of you have actually requested that I do this for Facebook Live. Um, so these are the dies, and this is a stamp set. It's called Encircled in Friendship, and it is on page 70, right here. You've probably seen this page because they're so pretty, okay? So I'm not using the Encircled in Friendship stamp set today. I'm just using the other one. And um, if you do buy the dies and you like this stamp set, um, if you buy it as a bundle, you save 10%. Unfortunately, these two do not come as a bundle, but that's the way it goes. All right. Okay. So that's, um, what do you do with those you have in your hand? Maria, are you talking about these? The bundle, this, I haven't done it. I haven't done anything with those yet, with that stamp set. All right, well, let's get started. I, you know, we've been doing so much fall, fall colors, right? Lots of fall colors. So I decided that this week we were gonna have a little fun and do pink. Now, warm Christmas wishes, you could do it in red traditionally, but you know, why when you have polished pink and you could do polished pink i love the whimsy and wonder paper that's in the holiday catalog that has the pinks in it so that's kind of where i got my inspiration from all right so we're actually also here using the candy cane background stamp because these are sentiment stamps i had to pull in a few things um to make our card a little more interesting so we're using the candy canes the candy cane background stamps you guys know how i feel about background stamps. I love background stamps. And um, this one is cute. I have another project coming on Monday that uses the candy canes as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to emboss the candy canes in white, and then we're going to use stitched rectangles to cut them out. And I'm going to show you there's, you have to cut the rectangles in a certain way to be able to get all of them out of one stamped image. Okay, all right. Oh, Sandy, peaceful cabin. But is that Christmas? Is it Christmas? I, I feel like it is. Or are they non-Christmas sentiments? Because you won't get it until after Christmas or like the day before Christmas at the earliest, right? So, I, you know, peaceful cabin, I've had a lot of requests for peaceful cabin. But honestly, I'm a little intimidated by it. It's it's kind of out of my wheelhouse. Um, it's not my normal style. So, but I I have it on my list, and I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> I'm gonna get to it. I promise. Well, should I promise? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't promise. I'm gonna try my best to include it in the Facebook Friday rotation. Um, hey Elaine, you were doing your swaps, huh? Um, Whisper White, Craft Ink, right? Oh, already made a mess. We're going to put it on polished pink cardstock. <laughs> you guys get ready for next year. Oh, I, You know, don't you think we'll be tired of Christmas by December 26th? I don't know about you guys, but December 26th, I am ripping Christmas decorations down as fast as I can. Like, ugh, I can't stand Christmas after Christmas. I love it leading up to Christmas, but then I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay, so we have done that in um, white craft, and I'm going to sprinkle embossing powder, white embossing powder. Our embossing powders now don't come in single little pots. You can get the basics, which are what? Black, white, and clear. And they come in like a little bundle. And then you can also get um, metallics, right? So that's how you can get them. Now, you're going to want to take your heat tool until it's all shiny. I'm not going to do that because it takes a long time because it's so big. So I already have one done. Look, I am prepared ahead of time. So proud of myself. Too bad my hands are now inky. Okay, now we're going to pull over the cut and emboss machine, but what, before we do, let's stamp this, and my polished pink ink, I think, is left on 
The other? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, here it is. Do you guys love polished pink as much as I love polished pink? El Elaine. So she says the white... Are you talking about the white? I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the white ink, right? Never works out for her. I have had some issues with the white ink as well. Uh, what I have found is that there is a there is a sweet spot between too juicy and not juicy enough. Look how messy my pad is. You can tell that I make a huge mess. You might also tell that my ink pad is slightly pink. <laughs> Because yesterday, when I did this for the clean recording, I hadn't cleaned, because you guys know how I am, I hadn't cleaned my candy cane stamp set. So it got all pink. So what I did is I scraped as much as I could, got a paper towel, da, 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 and re-inked it. And then you get a spoon, smooth it all around. Um, and that today is really good. So it seems like sometimes the ink just needs to be, you know, if you take a bone folder and just kind of do, 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 make sure it gets in there. Um, <laughs> it's a mess um it is it'll work but also the reason what I meant to say too is the reason I used my um stamparatus I, I like to use a stamparatus with background stamps generally but with a white sometimes it's for me it gets a little splotchy and that way I can just use my Stamparatus, ink it again, set it back down, and it would be perfect. So even if you weren't using a background stamp on, you know, an image or using an image that wasn't a background stamp, you could use your Stamparatus and continue to ink it until you get that full coverage. The scented pan powders, Nancy, I, I remember that, the scented, those are really cool. We had scented embossing powders for a while. All right, circle die. Now, I'm gonna bring this over. We're gonna use the stitched rectangle. And I have two sets of stitched rectangles, so I'm gonna use two at once to make it go faster. Um, this is three and a fourth by one and a fourth. All right, so you're gonna have to do three across real tight and then one right here to get them all out of this one um, image, okay? So get those on there. And we're gonna run that through. Um, Christine, when you use Versamark with your embossing powder, that's a great suggestion. Um, I just find that the white pops more. It's brighter and crisper if I use the white ink. But you're absolutely right. You can totally use Versamark in place of um, the white craft ink. I don't know, like if you use, if you use it on black, it would probably still be okay. It would probably be white enough. But I, I just find that that craft ink is messy but I love it. I use it all the time. Okay, so see how I got four out of there? There you go. Now, if you don't have the stitched rectangles, no problem. Just cut just cut the piece into rectangles, into uh, four, what did we say? Three and a fourth by one and a fourth rectangles, and that would work just fine. Okay, let me get my dimensionals. Ooh, look, almost a brand new sheet of dimensionals. I'm going to start at the top, and these are all gonna overlap. I'm gonna do kind of wonky, like angled, and you know, left, right, staggered. I think I will go to the bottom here on this one, like that. Pepper is not here today. She is at my mom's, my mom's dog. It's her birthday today, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a play date. They're having a play date, so no whining. No crying for cookies while I do Facebook Live. For those of you that don't know, Pepper is my dog. One of my dogs. She's very needy. Very, very needy. All right, this, um, this, where are my dies? This little white, beautiful piece. Look, isn't that just so beautiful? 
is this die right here. This die completely cuts this out, but I'm gonna show you this one next. For this one, you have to actually use the edge around it to get it to cut out. Otherwise, it's just gonna leave like a little window in your paper, which is cool too. Um, so I'm gonna put this down on just a vellum circle just to give it a little more pop, maybe, you know, see how it just kind of mutes a little bit of that paper behind it. And we're gonna put, before we put that down, we're gonna put this circle on here like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take my favorite ribbon and I'm gonna put some adhesive like that, just some about three or four streaks of, of um, adhesive. And I'm gonna take my ribbon and lay it down like this, back and forth. And press it down into that adhesive. Most of that's gonna be covered by this circle in a minute, so don't worry too much about your adhesive being like right there, it's kind of sticky. But look, I'm gonna put that right over it. So I'm gonna put that on with dimensionals and I'm gonna lay them on top of that ribbon, which is also gonna help keep it in place if our, if our ribbon decides to, it wants to slip off there, but I don't think it will. All right, now a black linen, no, not linen, twine, black twine bow, like that. And we will get a many glue dots. <laughs> Hi, Karen. You're all right. We're on the first project. You're not too, too late. All right. A little black bow right there. We probably need to just cut those off a little bit. Mm. It's like a little haircut. And then how about my black dots? These are just the matte black dots, which come in really handy. You can use these for all kinds of things. Okay, I'll put one there. Now we're gonna just mat it on a piece of basic black. Whoops, we got a, <laughs> we got a dimensional paper in there. Okay. And last but not least, we are going to put it on our polished pink card base. Hi, Robin. Thank you. You just got these stamps and dies today. Perfect. Well, I've got three projects for you and one more on Monday. Monday's is a treat box. This, this stamp set, I feel like you're probably going to use another stamp set with it. Just, you know, like I use the candy canes. I guess, you know, I guess if you use designer series paper instead of candy canes, you wouldn't necessarily need another stamp set. But it's a good one to have for your sentiments. And there you go. How cute, right? I love pink and black. That would be a fun Christmas card. Although that's a lot of embossing for Christmas cards. I'm not sure. Terry, that's probably too much, right? <laughs> Although Terry goes all out. She does. She probably would emboss all that for all her Christmas cards. She is awesome like that. Okay, next up, let me make some room. Next up is another lovely pink card. This time I brought in Coastal Cabana um, snowflakes. You know, I always miss the dyes that are stitched. They're my favorites, right? And like um, in the last spring catalog, those flowers that were stitched, I missed those for the first several months. I didn't hardly even looked at them. Same with the snowflakes. I didn't realize these snowflake dyes are stitched. They are so cute. So be prepared to see these a lot in the from me <laughs> in the next couple months. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some Coastal Cabana snowflakes. I like Coastal Cabana with polished pink. All right. And this is a big round sentiment, it's so cute. You warm my heart. So maybe this ne isn't necessarily a Christmas card. I mean, I guess it could be, right? It could be, okay, wait a minute, I have several here. This one and this one and then this is over here. Okay, gotta make sure I use the right white. 
you warm my heart could be a thank you card. That's kind of what I think. You guys, you think it's like a thank you card? Good, Christina, I'm glad you like uh, alternate colors. Yeah, this is different. This is different. I used to not. I used to be only traditional colors for Christmas cards. But I feel differently about that now. All right, so we're just going to cut that out with a layering circle. Now this one, we're going to cut out. This is, you know what, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Because I did see a card on Pinterest or somewhere where they only used this center image. You can cut them at the same time, but I'm going to do it separately so you can see what it would look like. Now, I'm going to do this upside down like this because this is a really intricate die. And I find that these, for me, on my cut and emboss machine, cut best like this. So I've put it with the cutting edge up. And I'm just going to put this paper right down on it. And I'm going to go through here a couple of times. Um, the more cutting edges it has, the more opportunity you need <laughs> to give it to run through that machine. Let's see. Oh, beautiful, perfect. Okay, so if you cut it with just that, oh look, there's something on my, there we go. If you cut it just like that, look, that's beautiful. That medallion like that, I mean, you could do a lot with that. Isn't that pretty? But we are going to take this one and cut it out. All right, so rotate it around. It's pretty symmetrical, so it's pretty easy to find where it goes. And again, you can cut them at the same time. I just did that so you could see how you do have to use that outside one, which I didn't realize the first time I used it. All right, oh, so pretty. All right, now we'll just cut this one out with the circle die. A birthday card, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, when with this, you warm my heart, I mean, just stamp any other sentiment inside for really any occasion, and I think it would work. Let me get all these little doodads out of the way, because they'll be in everything. All right, so now I'm going to take, I have another circle. For some reason, I cut out scallop circles, but you don't need, because I was thinking you would see them through there, but you don't. <laughs> So really, you can just do a regular circle. Um, and I'm gonna glue this on the back of it to so that I can um, use dimensionals on my card, okay? Or on this, on the back of it. So that's gonna go like that. And then dimensionals are right here. Dimensionals go here like so okay and then oh I didn't put the that's okay we can still do it I meant to put these on first um so here are the three stitched snowflakes that I have cut out and that looks off centered you know what let's just pull it up so I can glue these snowflakes on easier um I don't know what I was gonna say. Put that on like that, and then I'm gonna do the smaller one kind of overlapping. You want them sticking out enough so that you'll see them. Did you guys take advantage of the sale this week? The stamp sale? It was fun. Flash sale, one day. It's always exciting. I bought a couple of things. I don't remember what they were, but <laughs> I know I did buy a couple of things. All right, there. Now we're going to sandwich that in like that. Okay? Now let's set that up there. Let that kind of dry. I am pulling two different papers. This is the Whimsy and Wonder paper from the um, holiday catalog. And I've got a piece of basic white here that is four by five and a fourth. And these pieces are going to fit it like this. 
the reason I'm putting them on here is, which one do I want? Do I want that one? Do I want that one? I think I'm gonna do that one. Um, because we're gonna we're gonna tie some of that gold or um, silver trim around. So that's why we needed that back, that backing. Mine is a little bit too long. There we go. Now this right here is from the Elegant, Simply Elegant Trim Pack. You've got silver and gold. I have several of these that Pepper <laughs> chewed up. Oh wait, we gotta put this white piece in here first. Pepper, my dog, loves to tear apart twine and little bolts like this. She doesn't do anything with it. She doesn't eat it. She just likes to destroy it. So I have several of these in my drawer that are all in like a ball, like a knotted ball. <laughs> That dog, it's a good thing she's cute. She went to the vet today. She gets an allergy shot every couple months because she's super itchy. And uh, we went in this morning and they had a skeleton, like a human, not a human skeleton, but you know, like a Halloween decoration person skeleton sitting in um, the chair. And then in its hand was a leash that was attached to a skeleton dog. I thought it was hilarious. And she went up and sniffed it and growled at it. She was not happy. I'm sure her little brain was like, hey, that, that is not encouraging when you come to the vet <laughs> to see a skeleton dog sitting in the, the waiting room. I thought it was too funny. I got some cute pictures of her sniffing it. All right, so I tied that with a bow down here at the bottom. Now, all we have to do is put this on like that, of course, with dimensionals. Pepper does get blamed for everything, Donna. She is, let's see, okay, she'll be two in January. So she's like a teenager or like a preteen, right? So she's probably like 12. And they, I have a 12 year old. They, they do, they do deserve to be blamed for everything. They're naughty. 12 year olds. Ugh. My youngest is 12. She'll be 13 in a couple of weeks. And boy, let me tell you, she, she's got some confidence. <laughs> That's saying it nicely. The, she just is very confident, that one. She makes us laugh. She uh, plays the violin in the orchestra. Um, and she's also hopefully trying out for basketball, which she's, currently obsessed with and she she's pretty convinced that she's you know pretty darn good and I keep trying to <laughs> you know downplay that because you know I don't know you got to be realistic there, you know there's a fine line between encouraging and over indulging right you don't want your kids to be full of themselves but you don't want them to be totally insecure. So it's a fine line. This one especially, because she she doesn't need any encouragement. <laughs> all right, here are the rhinestone basic jewels. That's all I did right there to match the silver. And that's it. Ta-da! Cute, right? She plays a violin, and she never, ever, 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 ever practices. And she says it's because she can't bring a violin home because then she won't get the seat on the bus that she wants, blah, blah, blah. Well, we bought her a used violin from a neighbor so she would have a violin at home that she could practice. And still, it, the practicing is an issue, as I'm sure it is with all kids. But she told me this morning, she said, Mom, you know I'm first chair violin, right? And I was like, What? She And so then I'm like, well, great. Then, I, you know, I can't say, you need to practice. And then I said, well, just think how good you'd be if you did practice. She didn't, she didn't like that. She didn't like that answer at all. Not at all. But I don't know. She's something else. <laughs> okay. I know. Somebody out there is saying I'm talking about my kids too much. Sorry. Change the channel. <laughs> Donna sounds like your son. All right, good, Nina. I'm glad you like this one. This one is cute. I like it. And I can see in my iPad how they all look a little bit different. These papers, depending on which pattern you use, looks a little bit different. I love that font. I will tell you again, I've talked about Martin. He's an artisan on our artisan design team. 
and he, I believe, is in England. He has a card where he fussy cut every single one of these letters, and it is amazing. I mean, I was just like blown away. So if you are looking for ideas, look it up. Um, if you Google um, Encircled in uh, Warmth, you'll find his card. It was a, I can't remember, an artisan project or whatever, but it is beautiful. If you are highly skilled with fussy cutting, that, is, that was beyond my skill set, I will tell you. It was absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, one more. Man, we're going to get done early today. We are. We are, we are. Um, next week, we are doing um, <laughs> Little Treats. Is that what it's called? No, not Little Treats. What's it called? Little, hold on. Little Delights. Little Delights. It's the one that has lots of fonts. It has, or lots of sentiments, and it has the, um, the light bulb, a party hat, the bats, and then some sprigs. So we're doing that one next week. I've got like a Thanksgiving card. I've got a Christmas card and a birthday card for you. I already got them done. And I'm working on the following week. All right. But this week we've got one more left. And this one, if you, um, if you follow any of the challenge blogs, I've talked to you guys about challenge blogs before. They'll put up like a sketch or a color, a color you know, color um, combination, and then give you a week and you can make a card, whatever. Well, this one is based on a sketch and I can't remember which which website it was, but this was a sketch that they had and I loved it. So that's what we're gonna do. But do you notice something in the background? We are going to use embossing paste. And this just happens to be the shimmer embossing paste, which is on back order. Of course it is. Oh no, I've lost my little palette knife. Hmm, it's probably in the sink from yesterday where I washed it, but I have something else I can use, so hold on. Um, embossing paste is really fun. I love embossing paste. Um, it makes me feel like I'm doing something very artsy, um, but it doesn't, you know, it's pretty easy. This is a piece of basic white um, cardstock, but it's four by, no, four and a fourth by five and a half. It's the full size of the card front because I wanted this to be, I wanted it to look like it's the card front. However, you'll notice your paper gets a little bit warped. So I was afraid if I did it as the card front, that then our whole card base would be a little wonky. So we're going to just do it on this piece and adhere it down really well onto the card um, the basic white thick card base. Okay, so let me tape this down. Oh, it would, Joan, you're right. This would be a great Valentine's card. I didn't even think about that. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find my other little palette. Um, my other palette knife. Oh, oh, goody, look. Oh my gosh, I have a brand new set. I didn't even know I had a brand new set. Yay. I'll tell you why I have a brand new set. Um, this, this stuff, embossing paste, literally turns into cement. I mean, hard as a rock. And um, if you don't wash your, um, your mask or your tools, it will not come off after it dries. It is literally super hard. So that's why I have a new set, because my other one is bad. Um, here's another thing. I opened my embossing paste last week and it was hard as a rock. It was dry, even though I had the lid on it. So I did a little bit of poking around and found that the best suggestion is to get some saran wrap or press and seal and put it in and then push it down so that it's actually like touching um, the paste, you know, so it keeps any kind of air from developing in there. And then you can just, you know, close it up like that. So that is that. Does anybody else have a suggestion about that? I mean, maybe there's other other ways to do it. Um, okay, so I have taped, this is one of the new adorning accent, right? Adorning accent decorative masks from the holiday catalog. I have taped it down with my handy dandy post-it tape. And we're just gonna get a little bit. This is probably, 
this, I know that this is too much. A little bit goes a long way. So what I do is I just kind of spread it on here up at the top. And, and then I just, it's like kind of like icing a cake, except way easier. And you just want to make sure it gets pressed down into every single one of the little snowflakes, okay? One of the things I learned the first time I did this is that any, like say there's like a bump right here of that um, paste. Well, it's gonna be a big bump, a big hard bump when it dries. So you want it to be, like you don't want anything sticking out above that mask. So after you get it all spread around, take the edge of your palette knife or palette or whatever this is called and uh, just scrape it really good. Okay. Um, Stampin' Up! sells these. Um, if in case you're wondering, we have a page that has two different kinds of embossing paste. We've now got three sets of masks and one set of embossing um, palettes. And I think you get three in the package. All right, so seal that up really good, okay? And then I'm gonna get um, this paper towel and wipe this off as much as I can because it will dry before the before we're done. All right, now take your mask off and immediately take it to the sink, wash it real good, okay? Which I'm not gonna do, but I think I got most of it off. I'm gonna set that down over there so that it doesn't get messy. So then look, can you guys see how pretty that is? I just love the masks. I don't know why I love masking so much, but it's beautiful. Now look what I did here. I didn't take my mask far enough over over here. So make sure your paper is centered in your mask, right, within it. Now, you wanna let this dry. It's gonna take probably 10 minutes um, or so. Um, and then you can just pop it off. I had put it down with some adhesive. Um, but because we're gonna adhere it to a card base, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I did one ahead of time so that it would be dry, okay? So there we have that. And we'll go ahead and we will adhere it to our card base. Oh, Donna, that's, yes, you can put um, color in your embossing paste, um, uh, ink refills in your embossing paste. That's really fun. I haven't done that in a long time. Yep, that is really fun. Any of our, our ink refills, um, you can tent your embossing paste with. Now I'm getting, I'm really being very heavy handed with this adhesive because like I said, it's kind of, you know, like I want it to be straight, really straight on here. So I don't want it to be warped or popping off. So I'm gonna put that down, make sure it's in the right spot and press it down and there we go and so it looks like it's your card base right okay now i've cut out a bunch of pieces here i have a stitched rectangle and i need to tell you the size because you'll be asking me um four and three eighths by three stitched rectangle if you don't have the stitch rectangles of course you could just use a regular rectangle this is cut with our fancy dies right here. It's this one. I think this is my favorite one in this set because it has so much stamping space, although I'm not even stamping on it. And then this is the little one, the little tiny one that it shows in the catalog that coordinates. So I'm going to stamp, let it snow. They do look real, Karen. I agree. They look that, that uh, makes it look, that makes it look real. One thing that I thought was weird when I took it out to um, take a picture of it on the front porch, the snowflakes were a very different white than the card base. In here, it didn't look like it, but out there they were, they were different, which I just thought, you know, there's so many shades of white, but I mean, it was fine. Just in here, they look the same. All right. Now I'm going to take, this is going to have a lot of dimensionals as usual. So I'm going to I'm going to adhere this flat. And this is too this is bigger than our rectangle. So I'm going to do like that up to the top and then trim this part off. Okay? So that it's straight down there. And then I'm going to adhere it here. 
Karen says, I also stamp straight from the pad on the silicone sheet, mix embossing. Oh, so you don't use an ink refill. Is that, that what you're saying? Oh, so smart, Karen. I would never have thought of that. She takes her ink pad and taps down on a silicone sheet and then puts embossing paste on it and mixes it up. And there's enough ink on the silicone sheet to tint the embossing paste. Very smart, Karen. Very smart. Okay, so now I have three fun colors I've got. And these are all half an inch by five and a half. I've got Poppy Parade, which is our first one. And we're gonna put dimensionals all the way across it because it's going to be down here below the rectangle. We want it to be even with the rectangle. Okay, like that. Now the next one is Melon Mambo and it's, I'm only gonna put dimensionals on the ends and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of adhesive right here in the middle because it's gonna be flush with that one. Okay, so there's that. And I'm gonna kind of overlap it just, just enough so that it's, you know, maybe like just a hair's worth of overlap. And last but not least, my favorite color, polished pink. Like that. And some regular adhesive in the middle. And we're gonna put that right, right there. Okay, so it's straight. I gotta look at it from this in angle. There we go. All right, now we've got lots of things to layer. These are, they're called our wonderful snowflakes and they're laser cut. They're really pretty, they're shimmery and you just pop them out of the sheet. There's 24 of them and they're only $6. I really like them. I'm gonna take this wonderful snowflake and put it right there. All right, and then I have cut out three hearts. These are the Give It A Whirl die hearts. And um, I have, again, polished pink, which is the first one. So we'll put that one kind of high up here like that. And then I've got Melon Mambo, my second favorite color. And we'll put that one right there. And then I'm gonna get our sentiment that I stamped in just Memento Black. Um, and I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna slide that like that. And then our little baby. Again, dimensional, dimensional, dimensional. Like that, okay? And then last but not least, uh-oh, what did I do with the ribbon? Did I? Mm, I used it this morning. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab it. This ribbon was on non-orderable, and now it is available. Do you guys, is the ribbon sitting there and I'm not looking at it? What the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on the other tray. Here it is. Um, So I just ordered a bunch of it because I don't want it to go on un un unorderable again. Glittered organdy ribbon. It looks like, oh my gosh, my nails. It uh, looks like our black glitter ribbon, but it feels totally different. It's very soft and pliable. Very kind of, um, you know, white, uh, light and airy. So it doesn't bulk up your card. Thanks guys. All right, so now grab the glue dot. Oh, these glue dots are driving me crazy, you guys. They're putting the glue dots on the other side of the sheet and I don't approve. <laughs> I don't approve. Her. All right, last but not least, why am I losing everything? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Opal rounds, which I forgot we had. These are these little dots that like have little shimmery glitter in them and they're so perfect for this card. All right, I'm just gonna add a few around town like that. There we go. And, oh, but wait, wait, wait. I decided, because I let it snow. Do you send a card that says let it snow? Mm -hmm, I don't know. I mean, does that make it a Christmas card? I don't know. 
I decided, I mean, it's definitely not down here, but <laughs> I decided to take the other stamp in the stamp set, wishing you love, joy, and happiness this coming year and put that on the inside. And now, well, that's a Christmas card or maybe a New Year's card, right? So cute. And it's pink, 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 and more pink and a little bit of red. Do you guys like it? It's, I love it. It's so cute. I think this is my favorite. Well, no, maybe I can't pick this week. Don't make me pick. I love them all. I hope you like pink. If you don't like pink, you're not going to like today, this week's card. <laughs> but remember, you guys, the color can always be changed. Always. Especially with our, our stacks of designer series paper, you've got every color in the rainbow that you could use. Now, wait. Don't leave. I have one more project coming on Monday. And it is a little peppermint bark. What are they called? Peppermint? Andy's peppermint bark. And they're long. Dollar Tree. One dollar. And I love that box. You know that box we did a few weeks ago for Halloween um, with the little pretzels in it. I loved it so much that I, I made one similar to it. So you can see it's got the candy canes on it again. And it's got the little, this is the other. So I use, I've used all the stamps in the stamp set. This is the last one. Um, but there's a video with this coming to you on Monday. All right. Okay. That's it. I am going to as soon as I end the video, go and make sure that link is working for the PDF. So don't give up on me. Go over there and grab it um, within about five minutes. Hopefully I can <laughs> figure out how to fix the link. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I will be back next Friday, same time with the, what did, what did I say it was called? I've got to learn it. Little Delights. Little Delights. It's just, it has no dies. It's just a stamp set. Good for lots of occasions. Um... And um, what else was I going to tell you? Again, if you guys missed at the beginning, I have transferred my blog over to WordPress. There are some kinks we're still working out. If you have an old bookmark and it tells you um, this, this website has moved, do you want to click or whatever, click yes. It'll take you to the new one and then update your bookmark. If you are having trouble and it says the web page no longer exists or certificate is expired that means that your browser is out of date and you need to update your browser or try a different device that's what my it guy tells me <laughs> okay you guys have a wonderful weekend thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next week bye guys